Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be sitting down with Dustin and Kelton and smoking our way through some genetics and just getting the good old garage sesh content up and running again. I'm looking forward to uh, visiting with you guys on the next couple of sessions that we're going to be having. But with that being said, let's just dive right into this one. I am going to say the video quality and audio quality isn't quite up to par, and uh, it is something that I will be fixing for the next time around. So if you guys enjoy this one, let us know down in the comments, but let's dive right into it. Cheers. Sit down. There you go, folks. We are live. We are here. The return of the garage sesh series is back. We're doing this before we started recording. Our bad. Our bad. Ah, a little a little pre pre-session isn't a bad thing. So we got the red Congolese. I'm actually gonna put that to the side because actually no, is that the that's the fucking no, never mind, never mind. That is the red Congolese. I was trying to remember what that is. Yeah, it's recording and the audio is coming right from there. I didn't know which hand to yeah, no, this is just literally feeding from there. Oh, okay. No, yeah, no, that's no. why I've got the cords and everything set up here. So, but, guys, so what's up? What's up? You guys what's might up? see me staring at the screen a little bit. Oh, sure. Sure. I'm not looking retarded. So, speaking speaking of our guy to to uh, to my right here, this is uh, <laughs> our special guest of the evening. What's uh, poppin'? My boy works at uh, is a manage at the manager. Canadian Greens. At our local dispensary, Canadian Greens. So, yeah, we thought we'd bring them on. And, you know, fucking get high as fuck. Chill out. Bring on some goodies. Showcase some of the strains that he may not have had a chance to take a look at. That's partake GMO. I'm getting that in tomorrow. Fucking crack tomorrow. it open. Crack it open and smell it, dude. It is so good. Are you getting the punch mints, too? You missed the shit. It wasn't on, bro. It sold out. Yeah, Two weeks. Like Two weeks it fucking sold out. But that GMO is next fucking level, man. Part you guys, you guys know, I, I I've got oh. I've got some huge love on partake, and that's not even the nicest nug. Oh, it's it's ways. It might not show up on the camera, but they've got like a real cactusy style, almost like a cactus, like straight up. That's yeah. beautiful. And then I'm pushing the fuck out of that. That's. The OGK Pie for next Friday. I just recorded a review for that one. I was surprised at how that one smoked. Really? It's not the nicest smelling or the nicest tasting bud, but it smoked really good. So, no, I so we can, it. I was just going to say, we can crack some of that up if you guys want to try it. It's not crazy to smell, but it does smell pretty good. Yeah, like it has something. Mm. Okay, so the, got, bud, the buds look great too, yeah. though. Okay, so I got to ask you a question. So of all strains that you have tried, what water can you say that you have... You know, you enjoyed the high of it, but the flavor was black. That's a good so, one. That's a real. Oh, good I question. thought you were gonna say the flavor was good too. Ah, the flavor was black. You know, where you had like where it was just like that okay experience. Where it's like, all right, you know, the, like the flavor could have been more, but the high was just like holy fuck. Yeah, that's the pull away. West, it was the stuffed French toast. The high was actually pretty good, but like the, the smoke was fucked. Same with the um. The Divi Pineapple Nukins, the high, fantastic, but for me, it tasted like a cigarette going down, and I couldn't do it. Like, I, I still buy them because, like, I like them, but, like, like the high is great, just flavor. To me, I think it's a citrusy overload is what it is for me. At least that's what I'm thinking, but it tastes like, like the aftertaste anyways. The smoke of, like, going down, not bad, but the aftertaste literally tastes like I put out a smoke and just... It's all bad. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I can say that's the majority of Divi's products for me. Yeah, no, it's I slow love sour cream. Cream. It's just the taste. I don't know what they're doing when they're growing it, but it's just well, it's it's. You know, it's I don't know. I don't know if it's what they're growing, but I think it's more what they're doing with it afterwards because they're not taking the time to care. No, for it, right? No, it's just now the nose on it after it's ground up. Is that the? Uh, that's that OGK. It's, 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 it's just got like a. Um, like a flower shop though to me. That's like kind of really what I'm getting. Oh, oh. oh you got Yeah, you might as well keep that one. I got a bunch of them. Partake is awesome, bro. There you go. Shout out to Partake. Shout out to Uprise because you guys are both as well. Shout out to yep. fucking Natural History. Shout out to fucking Riff. Good old Weed Me. Weed Me. Absolutely. Ah, this is the right guy. He, Kelton claimed that when he was. I, yeah, yeah, that's your. 
I was just going to say, we'll set that one up. Yes, sir. I like it. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Calvin's really the only one that steals this spider glass from me. <laughs> Cheers, Holly. Cheers, buddy. Wait, wait, we got to wait for the boy, too? Oh, that's right, that's right. All in unison. Been a hot ass minute since we've done one of these where you're, uh, this is kind of the, the way that we're introducing it back. So, yeah. ain't gonna lie, first time smoking with the boys, too. So. Oh, our heads aren't even in camera. We probably there go. pretty close. Yeah, I think Calvin's the only one that needs to stand up for it. Oh, hell no. I can, I, I I can I, sit down token. It's just I stood up because he stood up and then I realized our heads weren't in. Like, you know, we can't be good. All right, guys. So, to welcome the garage sessions back, we are all gonna take this fat ass hoot. So, yeah, and expect more content from Cheers, all of us. Absolutely, Let's go. Good, boys. It does hit heavier. <laughs> That's exactly how it comes from. It hits heavier. Really good flavor off it. I always get more of a chocolatey kind of woody tone. Yeah, that is good. But <coughs> like <coughs> nothing so unique that I was like, oh, I have to pack up another bowl. I have to smoke another one. <laughs> All right. So now my question for the both of you is what strain has made you do that right off the bat where it's like you've taken a hoop right off the rip and it's just like god damn i need another one because that was absolutely fucking amazing let me adjust that question how many strains did you need that second dude to be able to get the full flavor because you enjoyed it enough but the second hoot you took was better than the first because stacking's better you gotta go with that that one there yeah, <laughs> yeah, there should be. I forgot my bottles. water in my. There should be some bottles of water over there by the stairs, dude. Gonna grab me yeah, just go bottle? take a look. <laughs> Wherever they're sitting, just grab one. Right, even right on the stairs, you might find them. Yeah. So, ooh, that's that's a tough one. The stack, because the GMO from Partake has that stash and flavor option, but it's good on its own. You know what? This one might catch you off guard, I'm dude. Good. I just usually pick a little smaller little, toast. Okay, I'll pack you a little. I packed everyone my size of bowl, and here I'm sitting here fine. You guys are just fucking. Oh. That vanilla frosting. That's okay. It'll be good. And she could go for the beginning of the video. So, so for, for that stacking kind of flavor, this is the one I was talking about. That vanilla frosting. So that one you can get through Mendo Medical. So Wait, it's, is this medical? It's medical. So it, it's there's producers that put on both rec and medical. So like Partakes Medical, a lot of the other ones they just do, they do both because the medical market is so much easier to get into and to change stuff. But that's what they call tripping, huh? Ah, uh, that's all good. Dude. They call that trip A. And they have tops only, which is even bigger than that. But I have no complaint about Bud like that. that and now and that's like months. Like, oh, when did <laughs> when was the last Mendo order? Fucking May or yeah, that was the last earlier? No no, oh, no, 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 no. It was, it was, it was June, 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 June. Because I still, I specifically remember that's when we did the Red Congolese, the Georgia did, Pie, yeah. the uh, yeah, Sour we did. Diesel, and what was the other one that we? Oh, uh, Sour Amnesia Haze. Sour Amnesia Haze. Those were the ones we ordered ourselves. Oh, dude. So and then the is... peanut butter breath, we all, I got an ounce mm -hmm. of, and that wasn't bad. I've got a peanut butter breath downstairs starter for a seed. So this is this is this is what our next one is. Yeah. So we've got while we're telling showing them, we've got Death Baba. We've got Godfather OG. We've got oh, what was the other? Oh, uh, Hawaiian Haze. The Hawaiian Haze. Uh, Death Bubba. Death Bubba. Godfather OG oh, and Master Kush. The Master Kush, I know I'm gonna enjoy. The Godfather OG, I'm, I'm excited. excited. For. Oh, okay. yeah, I, I would I'm looking forward to that one. If it's grown right, man. Oh, it could be a killer. I'm. I can't wait to that meat breath, man. Every time, every time I bring that up, it was I harvested it on the Halloween. So it's drying right now. Yeah. 10 to 14 days will be first test. 28-ish days will be full test. Yeah. I want to give it at least a 14-day yeah. here. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll do We'll sit down. We'll do a garage test with it. Hot. Dude, I've got, a, I've got a full rosin press. 
like a full fucking grade uh-huh. rosin press. So yeah, like yeah. Fre- like mm-hmm. we can literally bring it out here fresh, press rosin while we're standing here bullshit. Uh, like sitting here bullshit and then hit fresh rosin. Welcome to the garage, that's my friend where like, we have we seriously have some. If there's fucking half ounces or half ounces <laughs> that you wanted to get from the shop and press seven grams of it, we can bring it out and we can press it. Like I I one hundred percent will press rosin all day long. Like this one, I heard Kelton had you you had mixed feelings on it. Take a look at it. Is this press? No, 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 no. That's just the seven gram flour. That's the uh, but, we go out this. and it's funny that it's one of the ones that you have to pinch and kind of squeeze against. Yeah, I hate but I heard Tom's like you had some issues. Like you weren't sure about that one. Yeah, I was like, I'll just show it to you, and you'll be able to sell it all day long. The smell, the bag appeal, you're high off of it. It's not one of those ones where it's going to be cataclysmic, like it's going to wreck you and you're fucked for the rest of the day. No, I heard this one was a lot more mellow. It's it's a, it's a daytime functioning hot. For people who want that more Ooh, clear-headed, okay, okay. just that, That's like good. you get 45 minutes into it and you're like, fuck, I'm higher than I thought I was. People who, learn, because there are people who are looking for that. It That's seems fair. to be the, the older... Creepers. The exactly. Creepers, the creepers yeah. or the older generation that want to be halfway through what they're doing. And then be like, what? Oh yeah. my God. What the fuck just happened? Because all of a sudden they just Lord. saw yeah. that, that movement, their peripheral yeah. went a little fuzzy because they, right. Yeah. I like that type of high to start my day off. I'm yeah. a huge fan of that type of high. That is fair. First bowl in the morning, you think you didn't get twice till and then you just do it. You're making breakfast toast, do your omelet yeah. and you're just like, Exactly. Like, I think that was uh for me, that was the Georgia Pie. The Georgia Pie hit you like that? Georgia Pie hit me like that. Where it was just like, you know, or I fucking took a hoot and I was just like, okay, whatever. Well, like five, ten minutes, like you're doing all the shit here. And it's like, okay. So this is what we're doing today. We <laughs> we're doing it. this today. Yeah, yeah damn. It. There's there's some strains where like right off the rip. Like as soon as like, you do that exhale, it's just like flat. The wow. red cargo this afternoon. Oh, so, you know, like, so like we're 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 like, I think it was before. Yeah, it was before we started doing like because him and I getting started about doing some so we did some training. So we, we just got into our first our first lesson today, and <laughs> so it was right before that. He was like, "You want a hoot?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." He's like, "Well." Georgia pies in this one in, in this grinder, the red cog leaves is in this grinder. I was like, like yeah, the red, red cog leaves, leaves might be the better idea before we do something. And so I was like, all right, I'll take a hoot of that because when, when I had the red cog leaves last night for this bus, and so I was like, oh. Oh, take a hoot. As soon as I exhale, I was like, I started coughing and shit, and I was like, fuck, man, am I even going to be able to do this? <laughs> Uh, I might have to try that red cotton leaf. I've never heard about it before. Oh, you, you got you got it here if you want to pull it. It's such a nice cerebral stick. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely cerebral. It's a nice cerebral stick. Do we want to roll a drink at the process of the case? We, dude, we can um, do both. I'm not I, like, people. it's... I'm not people. Like, I, I've got... Oh, what is it here? The Cactus Breath from Legend. If we want to roll something up with that, we can try that out. Like, it's what nothing... The cactus breath from legend. It's nothing spectacular. It was that hundred dollar ounce I was talking about. Okay. That I picked yeah, up yeah, in High Prairie. Yeah. Like it was it like it reviewed decently all right. It's not something that I would be overly I mean, excited about, but it's not something that I would be really like like maybe bring the folks back onto our face. There's really not a uh, there's really not a uh, not really a flavor to it, not really something that really like, catches I, my nose. I, yeah, I was just gonna say nose is the way I describe it. Yeah. It's where it's gonna. I, 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 to me personally, I'm not really getting anything really flavor wise okay. from there. That's the sour apples ground up. If you, either of you want to take a hit of it, there's whole oh, for like two or three bowls there. If you want a smaller one, just a sampler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try that too, yeah, yeah. I'm not, that almost so sounds too bad. Well, there, there's enough. There's, it smells a little like. Yeah, that's just solve, solve this problem. This one smells kind of like. Uh, Sour. Know. Smells like the sour taste. Yeah, it's got kind of like a sour haze to it. It's the best way I can describe that aroma now that it's sat for a bit. That's not bad smelling though. Like it doesn't for, smell bad, but it doesn't smell like for $95 for an ounce. 
it's something to have, right? Like I, I would, I would totally oh, yeah, suggest like you bring dogs. that in over a good supply ounce. 100%. In my opinion, like one hundred, just because the quality you're gonna get of the buds is, it may not be the top it most spectacular nugs, and those are the biggest nugs there. I smoke smallest to biggest. That's yeah, how I go through. Hundred percent. That's how you smoke an ounce. <laughs> you don't go biggest to small or smallest to biggest. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Smallest to biggest, not biggest to smallest. Exactly. I hate people that go biggest to smallest. That's no. You save those big, beautiful nugs for last. And it's purely those are the ones that hit them the hardest. Oh, well, we're getting yeah. the most terpenes out of them. I was just going to say, I'd argue about the hardest hit, but I'd say that they're usually the ones that preserve the flavor the best because there's more plat to them. Yeah. So there's usually just like more of that terpene available for you to be able to. So I caught myself at the end. Well, you're learning too, dude, right? Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, always oh, learning, man. Dude, man, I'm so excited, man. Hey, do you I want to bowl this? I okay. honestly cannot wait. We're just getting that criminal record check, and then bada bing, bada boom. I'm sending that shit off to AGLC, and then bada bing, bada boom. Progress, oh, right? Oh, the nice thing about that QCW is it opens up a whole bunch of opportunities. Hey, like, are you, are you set up with, like, doing the flights and stuff with, uh, uh, what is it, High Buds Club? Oh, no. oh man, I need to get you hooked up with that. So it's a group. It's like a, that's and that's I okay. A little bit of a fucking tangent now. That's the biggest thing I'm gonna complain about for rural based bud tending. The cities they get their information because the reps are always floating around. They're always talking about something. They're talking about the companies they're working with. The amount of reps we see in Slave Lake, which is only two and a half hours north of the city, it's not that big of a stretch out out of there. And realistically. It is on the way to and from the city if you're going to Grand Prairie in one of your ways because you will hit Slave Lake, High Prairie, Valley View. There, there is plenty of stores in between Slave Lake and Grand Prairie to make that extra hour trip worthwhile. But we don't see the reps that way purely because of money within the industry. I've got, I'll be honest with where it's coming from. But that also restricts bud tenders' access to a lot of the information and a lot of the community-based knowledge that gets shared from the reps floating around. Because mm -hmm. if they learn about something at one store in the morning, they're talking about it all goddamn day with the stores they're visiting from then on. And if they know about, say, the high buds clubs. So this is a, a group of bud tenders that go on there. There's a separate social media page just for them. So they post reviews. They post, like, it is literally bud tender conversation. You have to be a bud tender to get in. I was able to get in. Now they're doing flights. For you to be able to receive a flight, you need to submit your last pay stub for the shop that you're working for. So someone like me, I don't get access to the flights anymore because I'm not working as a bud tender. But I still have access to everything else because I was a bud tender. For you, and when Kelton gets his QCW and starts working at a shop, you send them your last direct deposit or whatever your, your payment ship is showing that you work for the shop. And then you get put into the cycle to receive free flour or some sort of product for you to try. The only issue, the only, not issue, the only um, step with that is they want you to give feedback on that, to do a review of it on like an email. Like it is literally do 15 minutes worth of work to get free product. That's so easy. Like easy. 10 oh, pack, 10, like Tweed's that. a huge company that they work with. So you end up seeing a lot of Tweed based products and stuff like that. But like I've gotten so many three and a halfs and stuff like that, um, packs of pre rolls gummies a bunch of shit like that just through programs like this but you would never know about it because there's no one going around talking about it yeah. no i've and literally before now i've never heard of that in my life. and there's I've seen, and, I've even seen a few reps and they never said shit but they don't know about it because they're if they're repping up in northern that's alberta fair. and edmonton that's fair right that is and by the time they hit slave lake they're two and a half hours cold <clears throat> from the last time they see seen a shop if they're coming from edmonton so it's usually the first shop of the day or they've been hitting up shops all day and we're the last shops of the day yeah. like that's the one thing about slave lake and it's a little bit of a complaint but also just the god's honest realization there is a bull packed up in there for it oh, all like, i know is I uh, I yeah, no worries, so so there was a lady that like when i went in there was <laughs> Ness, was, um, Tabletop, yeah, you got hooked up with some tabletop you got stuff. A tabletop rep dog. Yeah, yeah, he got he had, he walked in right while I was working when she was there, and I was talking with her, and I was explaining my right of the lease stuff to her, 
Yeah. And he's like, oh, hey, bud. And she's like, oh, this is your friend? Well, just come out with me. And she hooked him up with, like, a T-shirt and a bunch of papers and shit. Bro, I literally next began tabletop. Fucking love them, bro. Well, so they just, well, here's something that may or may not blow your mind. Net, like, Bazam is now partnered up with Pigo to be the sixth largest producer in Canada. They, Who owns, what is Pigo? The Green Organic Dutch. So they have Highly Dutch. They have all of that stuff. Oh, so that's those two w are collaborating. Big, that's a, that's big, a big W for the quality. Two quality <laughs> That there is, I will, I will say one thing that I've been seeing about the last drop from Key God, and it's not looking good. Oh. Is that that Maple Mac or whatever that latest one I is? I haven't had that one yet. There, I haven't tried it either. But there's a lot of people that are not happy with that release. Then the and again, this is hearsay, folks. So if you take this as word, yes, sir. you're a fucking idiot. Gonna, I will stand by that because it is huge hearsay. You well, gotta try it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the judge in Johnny Depp and fucking Amber Heard's judge case. Hearsay, hearsay. <laughs> but <laughs> apparently, <laughs> that, that whole thing. Oh. <laughs> that, that it was a strain that was pushed through by somebody in the system, and it wasn't really loved by everybody at the row. So when you have that, there's only so much you can do. Right. And there's a lot of people who are like, well, I love it. And then there's a majority, like there's some people who are saying they love the genetic it tastes great. And there's others that are like, this is fucking horseshit. So but well, then again, I don't, man, it's weed. Everybody gets it different. Everybody's got a different taste, but there is usually a generic. Like, my, my baseline is 50%. If half, like if they're realistically, there's half the people that are going to love it. There's half the people that are going to hate it. And within that half that hate it, there's about, if it's quality weed, there's about 40% of that 50%. So 80% of the 100% that hate them, hate that strain, will go, eh, I can see why people like it, though. They, they, they will go, I hate the way it tastes. I hate the way it makes me feel. I hate the way there's something, something that gives them a reason to not enjoy it. But on the other hand, they're able to go, but I know somebody who wouldn't, I 100% suggest it to them, and that's their new favorite genetic. That's the difference between quality and just shit weed. And I'm not seeing that quality side on the negative where it's like, well, I have a buddy who'd smoke this. It's like, I wouldn't even recommend this to my freaking enemy dog to smoke. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this to no one. <laughs> like, oh, no. Throw it in the incinerator and hope for the best. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Not as heavy as that OGK pie, but it's still got a little oomph to it. I was gonna say, I don't know if it's the bond or if it's the strain. Okay, I'll let that green apple, please. Like, yeah, you, you, you get a, you, you gotta, gotta move your bong out of the way because the okay. camera's no, I thought not on you, dude. I just noticed it. The camera's focus goes on the bong and not on us. So now that you mentioned that green apple taste after just clearing my foodies. Like it's wood, it's wood dominated apple, but it's still candy. Very like awesome. very, very well done overall. That was the Zara. Yeah, like it's it's a strain that it's not uh, again not something you'd suggest to everyone. It's not something you would recommend for everyone to pick up and smoke. But, but I do know somebody that would enjoy this at nineteen at nineteen percent. It's got its place. It does have its place. Like, like this, and it's just like the conversation we were just having, like. To me, it's a it's a missed strain. Like I, like it's after being able to detect it finally. I like I can't personally say that I would go out of my way to try to smoke another bowl of it, but I do know someone personally who would love this strain just because of that green apple taste. But if I roll it up into a joint for you, <laughs> that's something you could probably smoke during the morning to start your day off. I, I, I know how he good. likes his joints for flavor. 100%. The flavor of joints, man, completely oh, different. Oh, and there's and there's some strains. Sand thrusted fruit cakes out of a joint, man. 
Oh, should I pack a joint real quick? Well, we can roll one up in the other, dude. Yeah. You got like a little, I forgot my stick. You have like a little um, stick. Where is so one of the dab tools that we can work to? Just pull the. There you go. Imagine who knows the clipper lighters. The amount of people I've been introducing that to this year, like clipper lighters in total, they're like, what the fuck is that? Bro, I, it's like, I'd be ashamed this. if I worked at a weed store and didn't know what that. a clipper lighter. Hey. I know there are people in there that. For years, and we can still go in there and rough, ruffle some feathers. Oh, 100%. There, you, would yeah. to, you would totally get me on some things that I wouldn't know, but like. Oh, but my, again, my level of knowledge is a standard it, it comes from level before knowledge. To, or before legalization. It, it can't, my, the majority, of, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the majority of my knowledge comes from understanding the medical aspect of the way bodies work. Right, oh, okay, like I was, I was at EMS. I worked as a medic. Mm. I was working at doing my paramedics. Like I was very, like the way the body functions. If I can close my eyes and imagine it actually functioning, so pathophysiology, so the way your body functions. Yeah. Um, patho is the way that, um, like, the infections and diseases interact in your body. So I can close my eyes and actually imagine it affecting different parts. So it just makes sense to me. Like no, no real thought is put into it. It just makes sense. But then, holy fuck. yeah, you know what's going down. Holy what is that? Oh, you brought it. I brought it down. Let's go. Oh, I probably can try it. What is that? Hash apple. What? And I've got the highly Dutch six month old aged oak barrel hash. Because oh. I don't know if you've tried that or not. I haven't. It's, I'm not a huge hash head though. I've only tried hash a few times, so like I can't say crap about it. If I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm the same way. I'm not that experienced with hash, but dude, I tried this at the Grow Up Conference in Niagara, and like the I tried a hash kettle in Niagara. I should be honest. Dude, so right the way there. the hash apple works is the stem comes out, just roll a little snake. Stick it right onto the end. Yeah. Then it just hangs there. And when you put it in there, it sits on the bottom. But you just light her up. Put her in there and let her smoke. Uh, the kettles are way nicer, in my opinion. But the hash apples are way more cost effective to get. These are like 40 bucks. The kettles are like 150. And they're the same size. Not quite yet. That's exactly why I grabbed it. So we've so got a bit of a ponder. Oh. <laughs> um uh, yeah. And there you go. As you can see. Ooh, that looks so it cool. just pulls right down. Oh my god, that looks sick. Oh, pull the stem. Well, and you just let that sucker fill up. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, funny story. I love. I love. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if you're. Well, I mean, this is. I mean, I found it a funny story. But I can 100 percent say that it was 100 percent clean. Like 100 percent clean. So apparently, I'm not going to mention any names. There is a worker. That we used to work with that uh had a meth pipe. <laughs> Hold on. No no Christmas winter on that one. We were smoking hat. Right. <laughs> and so he looks at me, he's like, I can't he's like, I gotta clean. He looked at me flat out, he's like, I gotta clean that. And he's like, I really want to smoke some hat. And I was like, if anybody oh. like saw that, he's like you're crazy. <laughs> you how can you really you're explain it? How, you're, how, uh, you're, you're how, can you, how, how can you really explain that? Yeah, there's no explaining that. And so, cool. it's so, so fucking smooth. Too. And so, we uh, he fucking put the hash in. We burnt it, and so I fucking smoked it out of the meth pipe. But it was a clean meth pipe. Never been used. <laughs> Never been used. 
Mm. Gives you totally different appreciation for hash. <laughs> mm, that was so good. Holy I'm going to be smoking so much hash through that apple this year, you guys. Holy I'm gonna have to find Worth some it. good, Worth like it. I'm gonna have to find some good red Lebanese hash, I think, Ooh. and some really good Afghan style hash. Like that is, mm. that's fantastic. Mm. What is that taste? Oh. Earthy with like yeah, it's earth. Musky. Six month oak barrel aged whiskey. It almost <laughs> kind of tastes sandy. Yep. You know what I mean? Ooh. Well, that honestly, true hash should be kind of dirty, <clears throat> dirt e tasting. Oh, 100%. When, I, when it goes in, though, my opinion. Like when you're, when you're inhaling, you definitely get that whiskey taste. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it so sits on the back of your throat. But like you can you can definitely t- tell it's oak, like it's oak. Yeah, and it's, right. it's, 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 like, it's, it's, very, it's very woody and stuff like that, right? So, I just I like how melt like we've got a little uh, poison apple looking milk here. Holy fuck! That almost looks like a potion. Yeah, <laughs> that looks so. Fun. Happy Halloween, bitches! Even though it's a little Halloween. delayed. Hey man, so was my so was my Halloween song. I was kind of pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm good, fucking just released this morning, and I was real fucking peep. I was like, fuck, you. <laughs> fuck you, distro. Most would be really on fucking Halloween. Most be out on Monday, not Wednesday. Yeah, it was called fucking trick or treat for a fucking reason, you clowns. It never fails. Anytime we have a garage that you have a fucking release issue. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's a who issue? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Always something is being delayed or something is being fucking. <laughs> Too big hash up. Hash apple halls have me confident. Oh, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, dude. Like, how heavy I melt those, those are pretty fucking hard now. Hard halls. Okay. Yeah, it's really good, dude. Yeah, it's such a smooth uh, smoke. I dude. like this. Well, that's exactly what this is. We yeah, we we start out with a topic. <laughs> that makes <no> sense. <laughs> I, I was all I was puzzle just pieces are to clicking together. Weed, so I was like, sure, I'll I'll, I'll bring some weed and smoke some weed. <laughs> that is just too beautiful. Well, we've been trying to get this together going for a while. <laughs> Fair. Really started hanging out. Oh no, it, it, it's been a minute. It's We've been playing a lot of cards together, but we've been talking. <laughs> well, we've been trying to get the hang out. It's been really good. Probably not. I've been enjoying it. That's a good, good fucking idea, Chuck. Well, I'm very good. Needed something for Sunday. And when this goes up, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. So, we, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Sunday, guys. fun day for you guys. Little, uh, Even though it's Wednesday night now, just happy Sunday, guys. <laughs> well, the nice thing is, is that if you got, if this goes well, we can fucking continue as if this off regularly, right? No, man. Oh, like, there's always something to smoke. There's always something that we can figure out. Like, that, say like that's the thing is we, the three of us could split a three and a half and yeah. afford any fucking three and a half and then dive yeah. in and do a full review on it. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Right. And then just smoke some other nice weed on the side. Too. Well, exactly. We finish up smoking that three and a half and then we go and right. Cause I've got, <laughs> I've got a, a portable photo booth. So I can literally bring it down here, set it up, take the pictures that we have overlay pictures, like during my reviews. And then we could fuck it, like literally do a one hit a read review with us sitting here. Okay. But instead of doing three different bongs, we each take one of the three bongs and we run through the three ways in. Like that, right? So, like, Kelton likes the fucking cyclones. We know he's going to end up with that sixty percent of the time. Yeah, hundred percent. I could run with realistically the cyclones. My least favorite of the three. I would go the beaker, then the the straight pipe. But this one's not bad over here. And that's that's the beaker I use during my reviews. Oh, okay. So 
It looked a little familiar. Yeah. So like that one, and then I've got the end of straight pipe that I can bring out, which is easy, but that one gets tough for that it's third dude. Pipe is- I love it. I like I love it. It is such a tasty bomb. So if you guys want to see some more like this content, then you guys better fucking smash I out the Okay, you guys keep talking. I'll go clean that envy pipe real quick. That was good. Bring it fucking down so you can hit it. That's envy. That, pipe. that straight pipe. Oh. Does that look of a. Uh, yeah, you need to hit the envy straight pipe. I understand that it's a different kind of pipe. So I'll be less than five minutes. You're just chilling. Spark that fucker up if you got it down to you. Yeah, I'm good. We're just chilling. Right? We got a different thing on here. Yeah. Yeah, five thirty. This is gonna be outside. I'm gonna be so high. I'm gonna just like be going to bed like straight. Yeah, get day. home and then fuck it. No, honestly, for me, it's gonna be get home, raid the fridge and the snack cupboard, one hundred percent, and then oh. probably play a little bit of Call of Duty because like, I haven't played that shit in the hottest of minutes. And for me, it's only been like a week, maybe. But like for me, dog a week without COD. Oh, a week without COD. I'm weird. playing MW. Oh, I've been wanting that game. So bad, dog. Oh, so bad. That's the one. Like I think next paycheck I'm buying it. Maybe the one after. But like, yeah, it is. I gotta get up at like six thirty to four fifty in the morning to go city. What you doing in the city? Oh, my parents are going up there for the for, for day trip. So, so they usually shoot and stuff. Yeah, they usually like to leave early. My mom got me got me the bracelet for black one. So we're gonna get it engraved with tight. Nice. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. You enjoy that fucking song I sent you? It was really good, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I listened to it like three or four times that, in that one sitting. Like, I was just trying to listen to a couple of things. And, like, I'd hear something, and I was like, God oh, damn, I want to finish the song, and then I'm going to go back. And then I'd like hear something else throughout the next plan. I'm like, okay, I got to go back here again. Well, <coughs> all of what do you think I got a hit? You think I got a hit? Oh, yeah. You think I got a hit? Oh, I like to. You're, you're one of the. You're one of the. You're one of the. You're one of the homies that I. Uh, I like the little sneak peek. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sandman has been on repeat for me for quite some time. Sandman is hard as fuck. Sandman goes hard. Bro, I'd like. Who do you think did better, me or CJ? You. You did 100%. CJ did do pretty good, but not. I went went fucking hard, bro. I do be a long fucking. Uh, That's pretty much not. That's the envy straight fight. Got a little bit of frosted fruitcakes to make it cold. There you go. Look at the fucking resin off that hash. It's just off my fingers. There's still ha- this hash apple. Even though I do it like a my favorite way to do it. You get it really nice. Such a fucking lunatic like your joints, man. Just no care, giving it all to it. I need to be shown properly. <laughs> You've been shown properly. You need to be beaten with a wet mop every once in a while to be yeah, reminded. Right. <laughs> my, mom doesn't do, my mom doesn't do that anymore. She thinks I like it too much. Oh, my God, bro. She's, she's like, seen an erection. She's, she's seen the shit. lipstick every once in a while. and uh, It scared her away. No. Man. Honestly, though, the song that I got... Yeah. 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 Banger? Man, that's not. Hey, bro, it's hard, bro. <laughs> I, I will keep thinking it might be one of the best ones yet. Yeah. I think so, too. And oh. it's going to be sick because, like, I just got to find some YouTube directed and then I can party the music video. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know when you want to do that, though, and I'll go in and set just work a little early, and then you oh, yeah. come in before the store is open so that way there's no no customer in there after. The only thing is I just can't get up before 10 a.m. 
I'm going to show you the nobody works for you. <laughs> just wait. 10 a.m. You can start yeah. selling. You just got to wait till 10 to buy anything, right? I'll just be like, listen, guys. Just you get first purchase I hate, anyways. I hate that rule, though, Matt. Like, you can't make any sales before 10 <laughs> or after. Oh. Uh, it, and it's so it is so funny going to like the grow up, the grow facilities and seeing the difference in regulations when you're like the owners and stuff of those micros and small facilities. It's like holy fuck! I wish, I wish there is some of the I don't want to say leniencies in there, but they're just the ability for some of the products to just not Dude, be in the stock room. No, you longer. know what I want to happen with dispensaries? Like you know, I want it to go to the like, Almost, what's the word? I mean, disjointed type of vibe. Yeah. Where they have literal yeah. jars of weed. You fucking scale yes, your jars. Scale, I, like, I would like to see a farm gate create like, transition, which is like, like that. Like a yeah. 10 gram or like get like a fucking four gram or five, like whatever they got the dough for, but like they just can't get that little bit extra because it's like, like the whole. Like, wow. And then you can pack it a little heavy for the, for the homies. Like not extra, like crazy. Well, you have like you have your mean, fucking two gram leniency yeah. within the ounces if they're a regular customer, right? Yeah. The, the fucking you get you get thirty you get thirty grams for twenty price, right? Hundred percent. That disjointed show, bro. That fucking black guy and that like white shit. <laughs> it's so funny, oh, though. Dude. Dave and Dabby, like, man. Yeah, dude, and they're like, and then they're like, uh, uh, I love when they were talking about sex or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I was just like fucking dying, bro. Bro, that whole show is too good. I gotta give that a rewatch. I'm gonna be sitting there at work watching. I'll that. give her, I'll give her props. Like, but like she, she knew like how to, how to educate, and then like you know, kind of like don't make it funny as fucking interesting for people. Hundred percent. No, that show was really good. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I recommend that show to anybody. But have you seen Disjointed yet, bro? I've never seen Disjointed. But- uh, you you watching? I have bro. I have such a fucking hard time watching, like n- especially now, like Netflix or anything style TV. Dude. I have a, such a hard time watching it because <laughs> I can usually see where it's going, predict the flow, see that I'm right, and then get pissed off because it's like oh, I'm overly right with the guess. Dude. Like I fucking watch anime for a reason. That's I don't fair. have a goddamn clue what fucking's coming. That is fair. Right? I've been like, watching a lot of anime recently. What's your favorite anime? Ooh. Right now, I have to go to Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man just came out. That shit is gas so far. I, ha- I haven't got into that, but that's now on my Chainsaw oh, Man. Chainsaw please. Man has been on my list oh. for the last ten days. Chainsaw I've been seeing Man some shit. Crazy. I'm like crazy. I think I'm gonna and have. Bro, it's Denji, one that I think I might Denji's have to read. Motor? For. Way too funny, dog. All that guy's not trying to do is touch boobs. Yeah, he's literally just trying to. Well, touch there's boobs. all there's already there's always somebody like that. Mm-hmm. It is so Fox. funny, man. Fox, man, Leash, what he miss? Big talk. Either Fox. that or um. Fox and I just started watching Fox. Fire Force. Fire Force is pretty sick. Fox. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty new to the anime world. I have not seen a lot Fox. of the classics. What have what's your okay? Well, I, I, I can I, list all the animes I've seen on, on, on my tent and it's just on my fingers. I, I can be there with the ones that I've completed, start to finish. Like, I've got, like, this past summer, winter, I did Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. I read and watched all of them. Like, if I'm going to do something, I read and watch it. Like, I'm a fucking lunatic like that. Um, Naruto is always going to be in my top three. There, that one is going to be very hard place because it was the one that really pulled me into Honestly, the genre. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen it. Dude, it's one of those. It, well, it's Naruto and Naruto and One Piece. If you get into it, I want to watch One Punch Man, One Piece, and I want to watch Naruto because I've heard they're all it, really good. But I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm going to be honest with you, Naruto and One Piece. Those two, especially if you can get deep into it, like find one and get <clears> like. To, it, with Naruto, if you can get through and get into Shoppuden, you're fucked. You're you're then a Naruto fan. If you can get through that main 200 episodes, 200, yeah, 220 episodes, and get to Shoppuden, because there's 500 episodes there. But the story arc, oh my god, I like the, the but dude, that that's not one one piece. 
One Piece is currently adding, and it's at over a thousand episodes. Naruto's completed at seven twenty. Damn. I've got the full this side upstairs, and I'm working my way through it. But those two will pull you in and turn you into a. <laughs> they will turn you into a full anime <laughs> addict just because the story is so deep. And then once you get there, Dragon Ball and all of those ones will just be an, a half to watch because it'll explain, like, you'll watch Naruto and then you'll watch Dragon Ball and they'll be like, oh, this is why they didn't do it this way because Dragon Ball did. And it just didn't quite work. They had to drag it on for 10 episodes. Where Naruto, they have fucking, like, for Shapuddin, there's an equal amount of filler as there is for actual canon. That's that's how popular that fucking show was. <laughs> they were able to make for every like full seasons of almost fucking non-canon based episodes. So non-manga based episodes they were able to make. And only add like three or four episodes to the to progress the story. That's mm-hmm. that's how well Naruto was doing. And Bleach was kind of the the baby, the 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 middle, the middle brother. Of those three, because they were the big three. Naruto, One Piece, which is over a thousand episodes currently running. I think I'm also to get into that. I need content. I'm I'm currently watching One Piece right now. I've been I'm two weeks in and I'm over a hundred episodes. Well, what movie do you know? A little bit here and there. Well, I mainly watch the movie. It's like with the spin off shows, it's kind of like so they just announced phase six for fuck's sake. I heard about that. Um Daredevil. Is definitely one you want to watch. And the reason why I say that is because it is. Well, if you if you got Prime, I've got a better. I got a series one. That'll one boys. up there now. The boys. the boys will be one that's oh. on there for contention. The, um, the Americans is one that I'd put up for contention, and the Man in the High Castle is one I put up. Man for in the contention. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. If that. you haven't watched that, Calvin, yeah. you need to watch that. You will. You will lose your fucking time with that one. Well, well because I've I've loved I watched the boys from season one to season three. It's good. The boys is good. It's superhero days. based too, but it's okay. totally different. It's, it's like, like DC if they were if they went absolutely fucking crazy. If they were, well, if they were it's really it's it's superheroes that are acting like true humans. It's like instead of having the best of their personality showcase. It's in. It's heightening their insecurities and the worst of their personalities. That's really the best way to describe the boys on the superhero side. And then there's some real nasty shit that goes along with it. But the man in the high tower is like a. What's the best way to describe it? A faux futuristic or faux past because it it technically is going on. In like the 1980s, but it's if Japan and Nazi Germany won the war. So they're in uh, America and it's split. Germany has the larger East Coast (laughs) and Japan has a smaller West Coast. And it's how that is currently transitioning. And then there's actually like some sci fi aspect to it as well, to where there's like a portal to our realm in a sense where the Americans won the war. Mm. And like, there's, it's, it's interesting. Like it's one that you have to really watch a trailer or two of to really understand what's going on because the concept from the first season to the last season is not the same. And it has the right kind of progression to where you're like, Oh fuck, this is getting good. I might have to get that. I'm going to have to watch Man of the Castle. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie right now. I'm watching Hunter Hunter. Yep. Hunter Hunter. That I've heard that one's good. I want to watch My Hero Academia. I the Assassin I'm Classroom. My buddies are watching that right now and they're saying it's so good. Like there is a lot of content yeah. for the first two seasons. Oh, I wanna watch it. Yeah. Well, I find that once I start watching something on Funimation and all of a sudden my Instagram and all of that, it just starts rolling nothing but those reels. Yeah, it's like your phone's listening, man. Yeah. Always, always. What, what, watching it on it, right? And then going to Instagram, and all of a sudden, you just, I've been like, I went from watching a fuck ton of Dragon Ball based clips, Dragon Ball Super based clips, and now I'm seeing a bunch of One Piece clips, Jeez. right? And then, like, I watch the Assassin. Like, I watch you watch some smaller anime, then you get the variety, and the variety's not bad. 
like um, uh, High Rise Invasion. That one's oh, dude! Thank if you me. want, if you want, just like a ten episode break, like one to just sit down and like even tonight, you just want to sit down and crush a season. That one will fucking hit you. Um, one that's like an emotional, more like uh, life reality one, Toradora on Netflix. That one's good, but it would it's weird how it hits you. You get into like the third or fourth episode, and you're like, you're kind of connected to the fucking characters. You gotta. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I made friends with these fucking people. <laughs> yeah. Knowing all their stories. I've right. It, it's that it's that high school kind of reality. Oh, and there's yeah. and it's like, well, I the bait the the initial story is um these two people that have like very well known personalities in the high school, typical anime high school base, right? And they're very kind of secluded to themselves. They run into each other. So, like an incident happens and now they work together to try and find love for the other person. And then it like, there's enough of that interest for both. It's, it's good. Actually. It's really interesting how they build the characters and develop it through. Ooh. That one's interesting. Netflix has got some decent anime right now. Actually. That's why I'm watching Hunter Hunter. I've, I've only had like access to, to Netflix. I'm only starting to get into Crunchyroll. Oh, dude! I, I, as much as people like Crunchyroll, I would almost suggest Funimation over Crunchyroll because if you really want to just get into and watch a lot of anime, be able to jump from one to another, they have way more dub. Okay, I'm so gonna you, have to switch too because does uh, Funimation actually keep track of your watch list or whatever? Like, they, like you can build a track, you can build a watch and all that too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so Crunchyroll, you have to like literally yeah. make like a whole list of stuff, or do you? <clears throat> does it like automatically track like Netflix? Say you like watch a show and then you back out, and it'll like say continue on. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll track it. I think up to three weeks, and then it drops it from the tracker. Oh, that's but cool. you can go back and click continue on there. So, yeah. <clears throat> like I log in on Funimation, and since I've been watching One Piece, and the film comes out on the fourth, it pops up. But continue watching One Piece, episode 120 right here. Oh, Battle is over. Ooh. There's that one. But, like, all of these are sim, are dubbed. Like, they have a whole bunch of different ones. Yeah, I'm definitely canceling. I haven't started paying. I'm on my 14-day trial right now. Oh, I'm yeah, Toradora, it. right? What did I... Super awkward sparks, Toradora. What did I fucking say? <laughs> Literally, the computer's listening to us, for fuck's sakes. God damn computer guy. Yeah, damn fruit basket. It's it's in the same thing as fruit ba <laughs> fruit basket, and that's one that they recommend mm -hmm. for introducing like younger people to anime, just because it's more. And like mm -hmm. One Piece, of course, is going on mm -hmm. a good one, but yeah, here like One Piece is how many episodes? Eleven 1 hundred and some. There's sixteen seasons of it, and season two. Goes from, this is fucking so stupid. Episode 54. So there's 53 episodes in the first season. Yeah. Second season has almost 100. Holy. I'm only, I'm just about done the second season. Fucking Tony, Tony Chopper. He is the best. That's where that sticker's from. This guy? Yeah. Yeah. A couple stickers with him. Yeah. Tony, Tony Chopper. Be fun. Oh, I did that. The One Piece oh, is great. Okay. I was just going to say, how are we going to wrap this one up? What do you want, nerd? Oh, nerd. Mouthpiece is coming. Hey, listen here. Don't make fun of the Cleveland Steamer. His name is... <laughs> His name is Radio, and he's still on suspension. Yeah, I'm still on suspension. <laughs> Uh, I'm still on the bench. Yep. Coach will play me. So, what do you want to smoke, Farva? Well, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good... Hey, shit. Uh, oh. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Well, we got red conga leaves that's ground up. I've got some Sunday sherbet that's ground up. That's, yeah. Um, I think there's still a little bit. So we can grind up something else. <laughs> I think this one was the, the last one. This hour after. 
There's another I bowl of sour apples. apples. That fucked you up? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, sour yeah. apples hit her hard. God damn me. Rocket teared you to a new level. <laughs> Did you, did you feel like John left? Oh, what do you mean? He's circling Saturn like the typical fucking trip. Is it like going around? It's Black Candy Man. Ooh, Is that my boy? Yeah. I feel like a Florida song. You spin me right around. Spin me. Yeah, it's not oh, as the Bovita back in there when you bought it. Or yeah, I feel like it's yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't add or do anything because if anybody asks me, I want to be able to open a book because I've spoke. Dude, those U-Haul bags, boxes, bag, okay, U-Haul bag boxes. I've got three of them upstairs that are full with bags, containers. That's three years worth of fucking Holy shit. Hell. And then that's after I've pulled out the jars that I'd like to keep, like the glass ones, like the partake ones. Yeah. I keep those because if I'm giving Kelton home grow, I put my home grow in those jars and give it to him. That is fair. Keep the weed nice. Well, exactly. They're the better quality jars. So what do you want to hit? Uh, Red Congolese, Red Sunday Sherbert. Give me the Red Congo. We got the Zara apples, or we can grind something else up. I'll do the Red Congo. Okay. I might have to pick the bowl. I have the Red Congo, but I got fucking It's all good. <laughs> you can fucking that? You can hit both. Okay. Dude, I don't know why Acon is stuck in my head right now, but I just want to. Five Snapchats. Like, fuck out of here, people. You want to bed as soon as I get home. Yeah. yeah. Play with himself to all those wieners picks that uh, he's been receiving. God, yeah. All day, everything. Little back curling action. Mm -hmm. Little toe curler, Kelvin. Oh, you you gave me a uh, you gave me a, a U size. I uh, get wow. Well, that's a, you got to remember how that bowl's tapered too. You like that whole thing, and then you haul hard now. Pull it. That's a Kelvin's head pull. I watch you. I've watched you suffer for fucking years taking boots out of that rig. I thought I might as well teach you this time around. <laughs> that bottom third, you gotta just power through because it's already burnt. <laughs> that fucking red toggle. Here, I'll just grab me. that up. That bowl, just the bowl. Yeah, let's go. Fucking. There's definitely just a little bowl there. Uh -huh. Well, I was just gonna say, what you want the red cargo? So I'll switch you over to this one. Definitely hits me harder than uh, the bullies used to hit me when I was younger. Can you say that about Terrence? <laughs> Terrence. <laughs> they got hit you at school. You are so fucking out of it, man. Yeah, are you talking about like Ted? Like the one that we used to go to school? Yeah, the one that lit you up twice, dropped his shoulder, and lit you the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the guy that I was playing, like that I played ball with. Yeah, okay, that yeah. dropped it. Like, <laughs> yep. did he? Did it hit as hard as that? Yeah. Cause you were guppy breathing for a few seconds after that. That shit hurt. That shit hurt. There you go. The fans like. Yeah, why not? Is that a varnish vapor? I got this out in Ontario. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's well, this, well, this is one where the flavor is kind of shit, but the high is all right. I'm sorry. Did that say 34 percent? Yep, 34.1 total cannabinoids. 28.6 THC. 4.4% turn. <laughs> that red pog will leave the smack in the That's how I feel right now, man. Just crippled. I'm gonna, this is, this is, when I get home. Bed, you're going to see your bed? Done. I'm going to wake up at 6.30. Fuck me. There you go. <laughs> That's the varnish vapor grab. A little bit more dramatic. Wait, Jesus. is it one of the real hoodies? Or yeah, is it like. Uh, 
Oh, those are so comfy, bro. bro. I have I have the space jam. So oh, bad. It was like it's my favorite color in my favorite one of my favorite movies. So space jam two. Space jam two. I hate LeBron as an actor. It so, was yeah, LeBron <laughs> did not hit the same. No, and this is why Mike oh Michael Jordan is superior in this to go. Because at least he can fucking act LeBron. Greatest of all time. Yeah, greatest of all time. And can fucking act. Somebody who can't make it out of the playoffs and only has won three championships. You suck a wiener, bro. I'm such a ball head, bro. Just a hater. Yeah, go. Uh, I hate LeBron, bro. I think he is the most overrated piece of garbage in all of the NBA. That's Fucking absolutely Rose, overrated. Rose made some big statements for you. Rose made the comments on this shit. I'm not gonna lie. I was glad I was able to watch D Wade live without fucking LeBron. I would have. I would have loved that. Out there, or is that like the same strain? This. This is just the toss of. You want a little teeny bit of frustration? Sure. Can't let it go the way <laughs> Just go to the drawer in there. <laughs> well, this is a successful drug test. Get your nice and stony before you go to bed. <laughs> Man, I get, a, I get a baconator when I go to the city. I'm fucking so We were even talking world. about that on the fucking live stream. I yeah. miss having a Burger King near me. The Roadhouse King Burger. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is so good. Onion rings and bacon on the burger with some barbecue oh. sauce and mayo. Okay. Mm. That shit slaps. <laughs> slaps. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. The first time I had it, it was the first time I've ever been full from like a fast food burger. Or fast food burger. I was full dog. I was like, I had like that much left of the thing. Huh. I couldn't. You know I how, saved it for later, bro. But. To let you know how much I love bacon, Andrew. <laughs> bro, if, if I had to give up sex or bacon, you're giving up sex. I'm giving up sex. Oh my god, your like, bro gets an orgasm. The first, the first time, the first time I had, first time I had a baconator, I was just like, I wish I could fuck a burger. <laughs> I mean, you technically can. It's, it's just at that point, it'd be masturbated with a burger. It's not to cool down enough. <laughs> yeah, don't don't stick it in right away. Let that yeah. thing cool down. Body heat. It's so good. You do it with the pookie in there too. Wendy's pookie will go pretty hard. Honestly, I think they're like I think honestly if it has the best fries, I think they would be the best fries. Absolutely. I think out of out of I've had a lot of fast food restaurants and I think out of all all fries. And it has to go to A and W. Other than is, New York fries, New, New York, York fries does slap. Yes, they do. But like A and W for like for, for fast like a food, fast food burger chain, not like a good fries. Honestly, because they're like DQs, meh, McDonald's. Like it's a hit and miss. The McDonald's are here, fucking garbage, garbage, dude. Like their <laughs> their fries are somehow cold but hot. hot. I don't understand. And they're like salty but not salty. Right, like they're just the most. But what the fuck, Carl's Junior? They're just like too salty. I've never actually had Carl's Junior. Before. It's, it's all right. Wendy's. They one. used to be. They used to be top fry for me, but it's just now they don't. They don't taste the same. They don't. They don't Sorry, taste the Wendy's. Same. Wendy's used to be the top top tier, but they just don't taste. The same. They change their fries. And then A and W, like A and W, like just like them. It's you know like, who got some pretty smacking fries though? Arby's with their. They're curly, curly fries, fries, no cap, no cap. The curly fries. Did you still don't like their roast beef sandwiches? Bro, the roast beef sandwiches make me sick every time. I get, I get hate. Without fail, I, I, I'm not eating a Arby roast beef sandwich without getting sick. I get hit all the time because like, you know, like you don't like Arby, I was like, no, oh, I don't want to eat the most of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't have anything positive to say about Arby's. You don't it's, like their curly fries. I'm not a like. He's not a fast food guy. Uh, like okay. I fucking. This dude. It's this either dude four can, or five years since I've had McDonald's this March. This this dude can fucking cook the whole. <laughs> yeah. No brownies inside his his house. We were talking about this on the live stream about like I would like just always coming in. <laughs> Where where's snack food? 
Christmas like because he makes bomb ass that like no cap. Oh, cr- Christmas, the edibles, stop. The banana bread, stop. You made edible banana bread, dude. It's, I make I make I make galactic banana bread, dude. Wait, dude, okay, dude, wait, wait, wait. If it, I bring you some keep, that's how I make my edibles. Can I bring you keep and get some edible? Yeah. Oh, you could you could take some if I could just you could make some edible. That's how I make my I banana like bread. A, I got like a jar. <laughs> yeah, Cal- Calton's already kind of knowing that he's gonna be like hugging the porch yay like big. thrown. Oh. Yay big, but like yay big around. That's oh. and it's like decently full. Dog. And it's packed out. Stop. That's yeah, that's how I do mine. Okay, so this is this is this is how I can describe his fucking edible. I think uh it was me and my me and my me and my sister. Your sister, yeah. Fuck Fucking, yeah, Justin. Oh, she sister. got fucked. <laughs> Door. Me and my sister, right? Are, we're taking edibles. And I've had his edible before. And so I'm explaining to my sister, yo, you're like, <laughs> you might want to eat just like a little bit. And she's like, well, like why? The butter I put on the banana bread. And I was just Don't like, touch the banana bread. I just like, like looked at her. I was like, just oh, like, because it's very fucking potent. And she's like, oh, okay. So she eats like half and then she gives me the rest. And I was just like, okay. Buckle up, bitch. Have a good one. And she's like, well, what do you, what do you mean? And I was like, you're going to have, like, you're going to have a good time. Like, no cap. Are those edibles? Those aren't edibles, but those are the flavors and cookies that I made last week. So I was just fucking bored. You don't, you, you don't have to, bro, like, at all. Bro. There you go. We can split those up. Oh. Those are peanut yeah. butter. You can those are fucking good enough. So, peanut butter would be a good one to keep. Oh, man. And so, like, she, so we were both, like, I, we both ate it. I was high. She was high. She woke up on a whole different level. You could see, like, I know, when I say a whole different level, I mean a whole fucking different level. Like, I went into her room and she looked at me. She's like, What the fuck did I eat last night? I said, You ate some edible banana bread. She's like, I was high yesterday. I'm high this morning. That's how it works. <laughs> you took edibles. That's how it works. <laughs> you took homemade edibles with somebody who's slightly a lunatic. Like, I eat two or three pieces of banana bread. Sleep for eight hours, get up, have a shower, and I'm functioning in like six to eight hours. I give it to people, they're floored for three days. Guys, when I say these so I, I don't know what's going on with me. Bro, I need some of those edibles. I have never had a good edible time. <laughs> don't fuck it. Don't say that. I'll have you hugging the fucking fucking I'll have you hugging the <laughs> toilet, man. I literally <laughs> okay. never. All right, guys. We, we will have this edible conversation. Another time, I'm gonna put. put <laughs> we gotta go. Yeah, Calvin knows that this. All we're doing is we're literally setting up the next one. So, you guys, let us know down in the comments which edible I should make with some of the keef, and uh, we'll do a little bit of a sampling with that the next time around, and we can go into some of the edible stories that Kelton has, and then maybe we can have uh, some of your guys' edible stories. If you got good good ones, let us know in the comments. Mm-hmm. We can read them off. You don't need to put your name in there, but we can read them off and uh, dive into some of the shenanigans that you guys have had as well. If you guys have enjoyed this, let us know in the comments as well, because I definitely want to keep this content rolling. Me too. This has been fun. Absolutely. And we can keep it short to an hour like this, or if we end up having extra guests on where like, I can get a rep or somebody up here coming through and they can stop in and visit with us, we can maybe go for a little bit longer. But with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.